my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, tonight's really exciting for me. Tomorrow is actually my birthday and uh, HOA and I are in here and this is one of my favorite things to do is to come and pour with you guys. So I'm really, really happy. Um, I'm also wearing a sweatshirt from my friend Kelly from Feral Art. That's really cool and it made me smile real big. It says, paint in my hair, don't care. <laughs> which uh, I kind of love that sentiment. So um, tonight we're gonna have some fun. I am using this wonderful spinner by Erica Hughes Art, which I'm very excited about. I had the spinner previously, and uh, there's this one centerpiece, and then these pieces just snap on and grab onto the spinner, which is kind of awesome. And uh, I'm really excited about this. And I'm using a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have put push pins in it and it still fits on here, which made me so happy. And uh, it's got these two little, or actually there's a lot of these, sort of like a little locking mechanism to hold the canvas in place, which I'm also really excited about. So it's pretty smooth. So this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to this. So that's a 24 by 24. Um, what we are going to do on that tonight is a wildflower pour that several of you guys had commented previously about I should try the wildflower pour on a spinner and then spin it out rather than trying to tilt it to keep some of the original shape. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Let me show you the colors. I gotta go slow down. I'm going too fast. <laughs> I get all excited. Okay. First of all, we are using, let me move this over a little bit. We are using this beautiful one. This is Jadeite from Deco Art Americana Decor Extreme Sheen. Really pretty stuff. Beautiful color. Okay. And then I am using Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay. And then I have some Prussian blue left over from our last pour. The uh, what was it? <laughs> the scarves on the wind. This is that Prussian blue with a little bit of the deep sapphire in there to give it a little bit of shimmer. Really, really pretty stuff. And then I also have this color, which I also used in Silk on the Wind. This is a combination of the Folk Art Treasure Gold and Blue Quartz and the Deco Art Americana Decor Emerald Green. Really pretty. I like this color a lot. And I think this is beautiful. This contrast is really cool. And I like both of them with the Prussian Blue also. So that's cool. I also have Amsterdam Titanium White. And then I have Golden's Payne's Gray as my base coat color and this is thinner than all of that so okay so we're going to put down a base coat then i'm going to layer my cup and then we're going to do the wildflower pour and i'm going to do it in a way i've never done it before i'm going to try to go around half and then turn this canvas and then do the other side as well and then stretch that out a little bit and then maybe do another layer once the first one was kind of stretched out so We'll see how that goes. So let's layer the cup first so we know what we're doing. Um, I am going to use that Prussian blue in the center chamber because I really like how it looks, especially since we're using the Payne's Gray. It's very similar, so it's going to kind of fade and it's going to give everything else a very three-dimensional appearance. Okay, we're going to use that beautiful jadeite on this end chamber. I want this to be one of the primary colors that comes through. And we're going to use the 24 karat gold in the center. Okay. And then on the other side, we're going to put white on the end. Because I want that contrast with the Payne's Gray. And then we're going to use that aquamarine sort of color from the blue quartz and the emerald green. Okay, so the cup is ready. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put my base coat down.
All right, so we're gonna go halfway and then maybe spin a third of the way and then another halfway and then a spin a third of the way, yeah? Okay. And I'm gonna stay in tight and keep it small because I wanna stretch it out, so. Okay. All right, <laughs> I'm excited. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost. Okay, here we go. See if I can do it. Oh yeah, I was spinning. That's really pretty. Ooh, what if we did just more than one? Do like another one over here. You think, or should we? Let's spin that one out. Yes. First. All right. Are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. Looks like a caterpillar chasing its tail. It's like a palmetto leaf. Good hard spin. Yeah? Okay. What would happen if you tried to do your pattern while it was spinning fast? Another time. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um spin this out a little bit more and then I think we're gonna do it again. Okay, this is very cool though. I am liking what's happening here. What do you think, HOA? I think that's cool. What do you think we should add, if anything? Could just just do more, more of your uh, pour around the edges. I want to see if I can just tilt it a little bit. Too much paint come off? No, it's moving down there. your pattern like stretching out what's there so you can always add more that's not a problem you can't take it off so <laughs> center of this one. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? My last. Remember, if it's not in the center center, it's going to go off really fast. Well, I'll just put more on this side and less on this side. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go.
speaker okay digging this so that's cool um that was awesome actually okay well i think this is really cool i love the way that those colors are working together i love that we see the jadeite and that pretty aquamarine color that we made against the Payne's gray i love that and the white and the gold in there with that little bit of the prussian blue really really pretty i love these colors and i love it against the Payne's gray so uh i do kind of see a flower like shape <laughs> maybe a marigold <laughs> if marigolds were green and blue but uh, I think this was really fun so this is going to be our spinning wildflower and uh, I will show you guys when it's dry thank you so much for being here with me um, I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day we'll see you real soon is a couple days later still not dry <laughs> but uh, this one came out pretty cool there was a lot that I really liked about this I loved that it all spread out um, with the spinner um, and I really enjoyed Erica's spinner a lot I thought that was a brilliant design it was very very easy to put together and really intelligently designed things so I really love her spinner that was awesome I do want to play with it some more on this one I do like several things about this I love the Payne's gray I love all the colors there are some really pretty lines from the second pour there's parts of me though that kind of wishes I hadn't poured the second cup for the second time and I had just left the first one kind of stretched out but I was sort of feeling like there was a little bit too much negative space so I would love to know what you guys think if you think it was better before the second cup or if you like the second cup on there 
I do also have some more ideas about how I want to play with that with the spinner with maybe adding some more of the base coat after the first pour and then pouring again so there's some of that Payne's gray in the middle of it to see like separate layers but we'll see I also wanted to show you guys this little tiny one that I did on my little spinner which is I guess kind of more what I was going for initially but this one so this one now kind of looks like a jellyfish or a marigold or a marigold jellyfish <laughs> but I do like these lines that are coming in through there they're really cool from the second pour but I really love the outside areas where it got stretched out I just think that's very very pretty so we'll see but cool stuff fun to play with I really did enjoy the spinner and I liked doing that wildflower technique on the spinner it was a lot of fun so uh, and eventually I will show you this one when it's completely completely dry um, I don't know if you can see back there but those two are dry so that was the blowout we did and then that one was the obsidian dandelion so one of these days we'll get outside and actually manage to shoot something in the Sun hopefully so <laughs> Thanks for being here with us today, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I wanted to thank you guys all so much for all the lovely birthday wishes on my art page and on my wall. You guys are amazing, and I love you all a lot. So thank you. I had a wonderful birthday. Um, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. So thanks for being here. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.